Boondocks, and I'm back playing Dungeons of the Endless. So I've been doing okay so far. I still only have three party members, which is something I definitely want to change. I love the music here though, because as you're going from floor to floor, it sounds like elevator music, because, well, you're taking an elevator. And I find that kind of silly. Okay, this is like the last kind of room I want to see in all honesty. Uh, there's no mo major module in it. And it's just generally not all that great. This one is a bit better, plus it has an item in it. Uh, the hipster scarf. Alright, what does that have? Defense unlocks me first. Let's see what, what does me first do. Aggro all monsters and cancels skulker skill. Okay. Alright. Um, it's apparently kind of irrelevant. So what I'm going to do here is take Max down. First and foremost. I'm going to build an industry generator right away. The reason I took Max down here is so that way I can get my chair guy on there. And we will run him up. And Gork, you come over here and open this guy please. And there's no enemies for whatever reason. Well, we're just gonna take you back here. And oh, uh, that's a. This is a green gas room. They like. It sucks because it slows you down. Uh, it's rather, rather annoying. Okay, so unfortunately, um, I don't have enough power to go all the way to this room. But it shouldn't be that big of a deal for now. Actually, in all honesty, I'm just gonna turn that off. And I will build a kip cannon and a prisoner prod for right here. And we will continue to go. Meanwhile, with uh, I just forgot his name for whatever reason. Gork uh, with Gork there. Um, that room should be pretty defensible. So this was a not necessarily horrible direction to come, but it's also not the best. Uh, the reason being. No, I mean, it just got considerably better, but this is a dead beacon, this is a dead beacon, and just overall it's not the best. Uh, what we will do is build a food replicator right here. Um, once this is expired, which will expire in four more rooms, um, then I'll build something else here, probably a science node. In the meantime, we're just going to come down this way with Gork, because Gork does enough damage that you should honestly be able to tank rooms alone. Alright, so the first one didn't even have anyone in it. Room number two. Come on. The only thing I'm worried about is crystal runners. Guys that will just straight up bypass Gork in order to run up my crystal. Uh, he doesn't exactly have AoE attacks, so because of that, uh, enemies can slip by him. Um, I did level him up, so now he has Warcry to increase his defense and aggro all monsters. Um, sorry, and he aggro's all nearby monsters, which he already kind of had from one, that one passive I found. So this would have been a much, much nicer direction to have gone because of uh, all these different sections. I could have just put Gork right here and defended everything else. What I might actually do is come back up, put Gork here, sacrifice this thing, and go rebuild after turning off these rooms. I don't think I can bulldoze this thing yet. Yeah, I can't bulldoze that, which is kind of annoying. Um, oh, let's come over here real quick. Let's see, they have a Kip Cannon level 2 and a Science Generator level 2. Let's buy the Kip Cannon. Uh, Kip Cannons are awesome. Pretty damn important. So, yeah. The only thing I'm afraid of right here is not being able to get back into this section to aggro in time. Let's see, can I? Yes. Alright, so what I'm actually going to do is real quick build this guy 
to slow down enemies as they get into that room because Gork is so slow. I just generally don't want to have to deal with it. Augmented Blade added to your inventory. So that would be really nice if I could find a melee character at some point. But apparently that doesn't want to happen. I did find a merchant, however. Um, at the end of the floor, I could always come back and sell everything I have to this merchant. Um, so... Could buy that. Hmm. Let's, because I mean it's a slight overall damage increase, uh, but it has a shorter attack. Yeah, it decreases my total DPS, so I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um. All right. Well, it's time to change strategy. Unfortunately. So. What I'm going to do is power these on. It's time for Gork to go be a single defender. And move these guys down to here. So. Let's build a science creator right here. Um, we will build another food generator right here. Okay, I'm pretty sure that guy's on it, and I can move with Max, which I can. Gork should be fine, but I will build him another Kip Cannon, I guess. I'm going to keep this safe for now, and open doors going in this direction. Uh because I, I want to be able to make sure enemies don't destroy my science center. And that way I can continually get upgrades, like right now. Alright, so food replicator level 4. That's max level. And in all honesty, I like it more than everything else. Coupled with the fact that I don't want to spend to research something I'll wind up buying later anyway. So I might as well put a point in it and call it a day. Well, let's uh, grab whatever this is. It's going to be more science, most likely. Yep, five more. Nothing wrong with some free science, I guess. And I did manage to find the exit. Okay. All right. So, choices. I do want to find everything else. Uh, part of the reason is... I want to be able to buy more things with my science center, as well as increase my stats in other locations. But in addition to that, um, if you leave the can, or if you can, I was going to say that because of the Kip Cannon, if you leave the level without opening all the doors, enemies can still spawn in those other sides. And with that being said, that could be pretty damn bad for you. So I am going to leave him here. I'm going to build one more Kip Cannon. One more Prisoner Prod. And we will come all the way down here. And open this guy. Alright. Now that the door is open, click back up here. Alright, so it's another science. Free science room. Uh, it's both good and bad. Um, it's good because free science is free. It's bad because I'm hoping to get a little bit more dust before the end of this level. Basically, right now, it would be relatively hard for me to light up everything. And that can be rather frustrating, in all honesty. Alright, so that's definitely helpful. Plus, I was hoping that I could possibly find another character to hire and add to my crew. Let's see how Gork's doing. Gork is fine. Um, these guys appear to be fine as well. So, with that in mind, let's, uh, go see if there's something else we want to train in, using our science. So the land mods are awesome. They add defense to all major modules and minor modules. Those are really important, especially in the later game, because enemies are going to start taking out your modules, your defenses, and letting them survive for longer is good. Smoking gun is also pretty amazing. Uh, because it 
targets the special monsters that are also going to start spawning. We're going to buy the land module. Just because it has a little bit more competition. By that, I mean more things that spawn against it. You know what? Real quick, I'm going to pop this open. And... Let's take that off. And instead, we will put it on this guy. So that way, hopefully, crystal monsters will stay in fight instead of running to our primary. Yeah, that seems like a legitimate theory, in my opinion. Um, let's turn on the power over on this side. Enemies are still going to spawn from there, and we already have turrets built here. So, I'd prefer more to spawn from the bottom where we already have defenses. If you're from over here. Okay, awesome. I love this chick. Uh, chances are, I'll probably get rid of her, though. Um, in a later situation. But, the reason I love her is she's the fastest character in the game. Uh, and she has a speed buff that you can activate that has a two-room cooldown. It only lasts for nine seconds, which is a decent length of time. I, I wouldn't say it's ridiculously fast by any length, but overall it seems to be okay. Alright, so it looks like they're destroying my food generator up here. Not the biggest deal ever. And yeah. Gork is nasty. <laughs> Alright, so it's time to power on rooms for our escape. So, with that in mind, let's right away send Gork down to the end. Um, as well as wheelchair guy. Oh, I forgot, they'll sometimes like you have to check where the turrets are because turrets when they kill the enemies no one's there to pick it up and therefore you don't collect that dust it's a weird little mechanic but with that in mind now my escape is extremely easy uh... in fact i will just position everyone down here and then send this girl up top speed booster just to get her there a little bit quicker though you can't use that speed boost while carrying the crystal uh... that's not that big of a deal because my path is pretty much mapped out nice and easy for me for a quick and easy win. As you can see, the enemies are just getting to where the crystal room was, and now I get to exit. Alright, so, I do have a fourth character. The only downside is, right now, I have all these characters unlocked, and I would much, much prefer to have... Uh, another character. Stop talking, noisy person. Monsters to kill, let's go. Secrets unlocked for biographies. Interesting. Alright, alright. So the one nice thing is, after recording Borderlands, uh, the pre-sequel, this is kind of refreshing. By that, I mean, uh, I don't have to worry nearly as much of eating up all of my memory. Alright, cool. So, we did find a treasure. So, what is it? During the um, beta, one of the things that you would run into was that uh, whenever you left one floor and went to the next, you would lose all your items. That no longer seems to be the case, and I understand why, definitely. Um, it's a little unfortunate just for the fact that it makes it a little bit easier. However, uh, overall, I much prefer this setup, I guess, is the best way of saying it. Um, you know what, I'm not going to equip this thing, it's kind of a piece of shit. I don't like the speed or the cooldown on the attack increase, so instead I'm just going to come right here, and this time we will build a industry generator right off the rip, get him on it, and... The other nice thing, though, about this girl is she's awesome at opening doors. 
And that might sound like a stupid thing to be awesome at, but it's actually pretty damn effective. Um, because of how fast she can run, you can open a door with her and then have her sprint all the way back. And it's really hard for enemies to hit her. And in the meantime, uh, she can... That way you can leave a bunch of rooms dark and generally map out where you're going to go. What you're going to do, that's already the exit. That's pretty awesome because now if things go to shit real quick, we know how to escape, no problem. So what I'm going to do is actually turn this on. Then I'm going to build a... Let's do a science right here. And... Move these people in. Use her to open this door real quick. Because with Gork in here, I'm not all that worried. Plus, that room is automatically powered, which is also pretty damn nice. So, like I was doing before, <clears throat> I'm intentionally trying to open doors to get enemies to spawn and therefore generate a little bit more dust. You know what? I will activate that real quick before running back. I think I probably just got food, which isn't the biggest of deals, but, you know, whatever. All right, so let's do food replicator right here. And we will power on these two rooms. And then let's just move Gork back, I guess. And have her open this. All right. So, once again, because Gork has that aggro ability, he can just make enemies attack him, and they won't continue on. He's really powerful, and I'm definitely enjoying it a lot, uh, having him in the group. Okay, so, Industry Level 2, or Prisoner Prod Level 2. Let's do Industry Generator Level 2. Uh, right now, it's sitting at Level 1 is rather frustrating, in all honesty. And we found the merchant. Alright, so he sells the rapier. It'll increase my speed, but I'll lose a lot of DPS. Um, this will increase my DPS. I'll lose a lot of health regen and such. Surviving kit. Uh, that's pretty nice because of that wit that's on there. How much is that? 36? Hmm. Or 72? No, no. It's not really worth. Oh well. But what is worth is upgrading these guys. Uh, let's get them all to level 5, I guess. That seems appropriate. And let's see here. Let's see here. Let's, uh. Hmm. I'm almost content with just leaving this wing for now. And moving on, and I can use Gork as my main defender and just leave these guys on my harvesters. That seems pretty appropriate, to be honest. And you know what? I will buy another industry generator. So one of the annoying things with this particular floor is it stretches in four directions. Okay. Okay. So we found some gear. I'm gonna send her back over here, while Gork's slow ass marches happily up into here. Kip Cannon level three. Pepper spray. Um. Let's do that one. And prison uniform. Six defense. I don't think. Yeah, let's just pop it on her. Uh, just straightforward seems like a small defensive upgrade. Alright, so she's going to be leveling up the Kip Cannon. And in the meantime, we will just happily run over here. Um, at this point, I will power that on. And I'll start just opening doors with her and falling back to 
Gork. Alright, let's see what this guy can learn. Industry Generator Level 3 versus the Tesla. I love the Tesla. Uh, it does a considerable amount of damage. It fires pretty quickly. And it's all around pretty badass. So, let's run back here to Gork real fast. One of the downsides is I can't use this guy's uh, dust sweeping ability unless he's right there with me. The nice thing with having Gork and her go together, though, is this chick is kind of a uh, last cannon. So Gork can be used to absorb a considerable amount of damage for her. And that's something I can appreciate. Um, hmm. Do I want to build one more? Yeah, for 40, I can build. I can get away with building one more. Alright, so it no longer branches off this way, but with Gork at that point, I should be able to open this room. Sadly, this is a dead end. This would have been a really nice way to have come initially, in all honesty. Uh, sadly, that didn't quite work out. Alright, <clears throat> so let's just hop down here real quick to start learning this next section. I will keep Gork here for the time being. Yeah, let's do the next level of industry. And we will run back over here. Uh, so, she's going to need some help. Um, yeah, let's pull this guy off, I guess. It's unfortunate, but that's how it is for now. So this appears to be going fairly well. Was able to gain a little bit more power. Power that up. How is Gork doing? Not all that great. Um, you guys get there now, please. Thank you. Oh, you stay right here. Oh, almost just lost Gork. That would have really pissed me off. Let's do that. And let's do that. Heal him up a little bit more. There are a lot of enemies right there. They are quite considerable in size. Alright. <laughs> so, about that. Um. Let's see here. Let's see here. Alright, well, Kip Cannon level 4. That's maxed. I'll be able to buy it in two more rooms. Um, huh. Alright, alright. So this is where things start getting tricky. It's tricky, tricky. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I will leave this lit just to just uh, hopefully be able to help out a little bit and in the meantime we will build some of these guys all around the room uh Yeah. Okay. So that that that's when things start to get scary, to be honest. Um, just the amount of damage that was getting done that particular round was quite high. Uh, likewise, this is relatively scary as well. I don't see any enemies spawning from the top, but they appear to have this unlock down here as well. So overall, I should be fine. Should be anyway. Okay. So let's bring this chick down. Open. Oh. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I do need to go one more room before I can upgrade my learning industry upgrade to three 
I didn't see where... Okay. So there were enemies, I just don't see where they were at. Sound down here, yeah. Okay. They appear to be doing fine. I probably should have used his active ability. Uh, I didn't, mostly because I'm stupid. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get enough dust in this room to be able to power on the top. Unfortunately, that did not appear to be what happened. I would really like to be able to power that on just in case. Uh, right now, it seems to be okay, though. Oh, I meant to go buy my shit. Oh, well. Um, yeah, Gork appears to not be in combat, so let's actually take his happy ass down here. Let's uh, run with him. That will increase his speed a little bit to get down here quicker. Yeah, I like that. So now he's back here. Seeming in business and shit. So. Able to turn on all those wings. Now it's just this wing that is dark. Which is kind of annoying. I would like to be able to build in there. But instead. Let's, uh, let's bring these guys and gals up. <clears throat> and we will build a Tesla. Oh shit, I need to go I need to go train real quick. Um, in the meantime a Kip Cannon. Build a Kip Cannon, even though it's gonna be relatively weak right now due to the Tesla being there. I there's also a healing node that I'd really like to f have. Fortunately, it doesn't appear that the game wants to uh, generate that drop for me. That training protocol, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so that's the last door. So I was able to get the tip cannon for relatively nothing. Um, Gork, you get up here, please. Okay, this is bad. Alright, well, might as well just tell everyone to get in there real quick. Sorry for being quiet. I was trying to decide how exactly I want to do this. Um, do a quick shout, get everyone to attack four. Okay. Whew. Okay. That was kind of tricky. Um, so, might as well power these off, power that on, power that on. I guess one more can go, too. Let's do right there. Uh, then send the whole crew over to there, except for my running chick. We for Gork to get at least like halfway there. Look how slow that bastard is. No, I can't even activate his speed boost. Alright. So. Let's see here. We will take the crystal and run! Go, go, go! So, that time I got a little bit risky there at the end. Uh, not the biggest of deals, but... I... Probably should have played it a little bit safer. Fortunately, didn't lose anybody. Uh, was able to get the last little bit of learning done. So now I think it's my Kip Cannon should be pretty powerful. What I would really, really like now is to be able to uh, get a few more modules. But the main one is maxing out science. So that way I can get a ridiculous quantity of science. So that way my Kip Cannons do a massive amount of damage. Uh, hopefully that's how it's going to work later on. So until then, guys, good luck, have fun, peace.